Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping by. Marin here for Learn Fun. I'm so happy to be back today with this new interactive card that features a whole bunch of different things. We have hot foil, some stenciling, a monochromatic color palette, and an acetate wheel to make Santa appear and disappear. So that's quite a lot to do, but it will be quick and easy. So first, let's check out the supplies I'm going to use to build this card. We have Winter Village for some houses, street lamp and chimney smoke, more chimney smoke and a car from Happy Village, the Christmas tree and star from Yeti or Not, the tree from Car Critter's Christmas Add-on, the cute snowman from Tiny Winter Friends, Santa and more trees from Winter Skies, my greeting is from Ho Ho Holidays. I'm going to use the gorgeous snowflake background hot foil plate, the reveal wheel die set, and the smallest everyday sentiment banner. So let's color all those cute images first. I'm going for a monochromatic palette, black, gray, and white, with some red accents here and there.
Now let's play with foil. I have my Spellbinders Glimmer Hot Foil system on the left. I cut a piece of black licorice cardstock and a piece of silver foil. They are both slightly bigger than the snowflake plate. I am first placing the hot foil sheet on the plate with the shiny side on the snowflakes. And I like to use washi tape to keep everything in place. Here you can see that the second light is solid green. That means I can put the plate on the system with the piece of cardstock on top. Now I can press the button and while we're waiting for the third light to become solid green, I'm adding both acrylic plates that comes with the machine as well as three pieces of cardstock. I find that adding those extra pieces helps to get a better foiling. So the third light is solid green. I can disconnect the system from the base and run it through my die cutting machine back and forth to get a nice impression. Now let's put the system back on the base, remove the plates and shims, and let's look at the result. Perfect, it looks stunning. So while the plate is cooling down, I'm going to cut a reveal wheel panel out of this gorgeous snowflake panel. Very nice. And now we're going to create the interactive mechanism, super easy. I cut a wheel out of acetate and stamp and cut Santa. And here inside the wheel, we can see an embossed circle. I'm going to stick Santa inside that embossed circle using glue dots. And here's the result. The image doesn't go outside the embossed circle. Now I'm centering the wheel on the panel with the first part of my greeting at the top. I'm just eyeballing everything. Here I am marking the center of the wheel using a pencil and I'm going to poke a hole on that pencil mark. Here we go. Next I'm putting a brad into the wheel and then into the panel. I open the brad to keep both pieces together and the interactive part is done. See, super easy. Next, I cut a wavy border as tall as when you turn the wheel. Santa can hide behind it. See, just like so. But this border needs some details and colors. I'm going to create a pavement texture using the brick stencil along with hickory smoke oxiding. But I want to keep it quite soft. So I'm applying the ink with a light hand. So now we have everything we need to assemble the background. I white hit embossed Happy Ho Ho Holidays on the red banner and stamped and a very jolly new year at the bottom of the pavement section. I also cut a small red arrow. I attached a let it shine red panel on a card base and I will stick this white dotted panel on top of it. I added two millimeter from squares at the back of the pavement panel all along the edges except for the wavy top edge. And I also added from squares below the wheel, making sure not to touch it. Now we can attach the pavement border to the snowflake panel. And because we used from squares, Santa won't have any problem to hide behind it. Next, I'm going to stick my reveal wheel panel to the card base using one millimeter from tape. Now the banner. It's slightly overlapping the wheel, so that's why I only added from squares on each end of the banner. And to complete our background, we just need to stick the red arrow next to the acetate wheel to let the recipient of the card know that they have to turn the wheel to make Santa appear and disappear. Now let's bring the images back. I'm going to stick them all using one millimeter from squares. And I'm first attaching the Christmas tree with the red star at the top. That's gonna hide the brad.
saw some chimney smoke to give more life to this winter scene. As always, I added highlights and details to the images using a white gel pen. And while looking at the finished card, I realized that Santa wasn't popping enough on the black background. So I removed it and replaced it with a white silhouette. And let me know your thoughts, but I think it looks better this way. Well, we are done here. I hope that those non-traditional colors on a Christmas card will inspire you and make you want to try it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Have a very nice day. Bye.